this video, we'll be demonstrating how to configure firewall rules for an AWS EC2 instance, and this is going to be done through AWS security groups. So we'll be discussing what security groups are in AWS and how we can actually configure them. So first, by Amazon's definition, we'll talk about what a security group is. So Amazon states a security group acts as a virtual firewall for your instance to control inbound and outbound traffic. When you launch an instance in a virtual private cloud, you can assign up to five security groups to that instance. All right. So for each security group, you can add rules that will control the inbound traffic to your instance. And then you can also add a separate set of rules that will control the outbound traffic from your instance. So one thing to note here is that you are able to specify allow rules, but not deny rules. So anything that you don't have included as allowed will be implicitly denied. All right. And also whenever you create an EC2 instance, a default security group is made for you and you can either configure that security group there during the EC2 instance creation process or you can come back to it afterwards. I touched on this in my earlier video on how to create an EC2 instance so if you want to check that out and see what the defaults look like during EC2 creation then watch that video first. Also the only prerequisite to this video is that you have an EC2 instance in AWS that's already been launched. So if you've not already done that then again be sure just to check out that earlier video I mentioned on how to create an EC2 instance in this playlist. All right, so let's get started on actually accessing and configuring these security groups. So I'm here within my AWS console, uh, the home page of the console. So if you are elsewhere, then you can navigate to the home page by just clicking on this left cube here in the top left corner. And then we're going to navigate to EC2. I have the EC2 option under my recently visited services, but if you don't, then it will be under this compute menu here. So we'll go to EC2 and then we see we have a security groups section right here under the first resources section of this page. You can also access it from the network and security section on the left navigational panel and go to security groups. All right, so I already have a couple here. Instead of looking at these, we're going to go through the process of actually creating a new one. So we will click on create security group. And now we have this create security group pop-up window with these associated fields for us to configure. So the first thing is that we need to give it a name. So we'll do test security group. And then a description. We will call it the same thing just in this example. All right, so for our inbound rules within the security group, we have none. So we will add rule and we want to first select the type. The type is going to be the protocol that this rule is for. So we will choose SSH. And these other two fields, the actual protocol field and port range field, are going to be configured for you based on what protocol you select from this dropdown. Now the source is where you specify what IP addresses are able to communicate through SSH over port 22 to your EC2 instance. So if you choose custom, then you can specify a single IP address here or an IP address range, which is going to be in this CIDR notation. If you hover over the informational icon here, it gives you an example of what CIDR notation would look like within this section here. All right, or you can specify another security group here. If you choose anywhere, then that's going to configure this field to be 0.0.0.0, meaning that any IP address can connect to your instance over SSH port 22. And that is definitely going to be the most unsecure option here. Lastly, you can choose my IP address. So if you select this, then it is going to pick up the public IP address that you're connecting from. So right now, if you are behind a firewall or router, then this is going to pick that up whenever you select my IP address and it's going to configure it here inside our notation. So it's going to have that slash 32 at the end, meaning the entire IP range that your router or firewall includes is going to be able to access your instance using this firewall rule. And just to show another example, it's going to be very similar if you were to choose something like HTTP. Again, it's going to configure this protocol for you, the port range, and you have the same options here for whether you want this to be for a custom source uh, from anywhere or for your IP address. Now, we can also configure outbound rules here. So if we switch to the outbound tab, then by default, all traffic from your instance over any protocol, any port, 
is allowed. So you can restrict that if you prefer by selecting specific protocols and specific port ranges that are explicitly allowed for your instance and no other protocols or ports would be allowed otherwise, or you can leave all traffic available if you do not want to restrict what type of traffic is outbound from your instance. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the create button. And now we see that we have our test security group up here in the first record of this table. Now the last step I would recommend is based on your security group settings, if you enabled say HTTP port 80 for your specific IP address range, then you just want to go to a browser and make sure that you can actually access your instance over HTTP port 80. Or if you enabled an SSH rule over port 22, then just make sure that you can SSH into your instance. But you just need to make sure that the IP address of the device that you are using to access your instance falls in the range of what your security group rules were configured for. And that's all there is for creating a security group and configuring it for your EC2 instance. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, comment, suggest, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.